Hello and welcome to Children's Liturgy. I'm Claire and I work with the Shrewsbury Youth Mission Team in the parish of St Maximilian Colbert in Runcorn and St Philip Nero in Birkenhead. And it's great to welcome you today on the third Sunday in Ordinary Time. So let's begin by making the sign of the cross in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And we also light our candle to remind us that Jesus is with us as the light of the world. So, how did you get on last week? doing whatever he tells you. He being Jesus, as Mary said in our gospel to the servants, do whatever he tells you. Was it easy to listen to God this week? Was it easy to follow what he wanted you to do? It can be tricky at times to hear and to follow, but we always have to try our best to do that and to follow that right path and do what God wants us to do, choosing the right things. But remember, it's not just for one week that we do it, we have to do it all the time. This week, we hear how Jesus fulfilled what was said about him written in scriptures. So let's listen carefully to where he is today as Sinead reads our gospel for us. As always, let's get ready to listen as we make the sign of the cross on our forehead, as we think about the words of God, on our lips as we speak the words of God, and on our hearts as we love the words of God. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Like others before me, I have decided to recount the events and words which have been passed on to us by those who witnessed them with their own eyes and ears, so that you, Theophilus, might understand where the knowledge of our teaching comes from. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus returned to Galilee, and whenever he taught in the synagogues, he was praised by everyone who heard him speak. Soon his name was known far and wide throughout the countryside. Jesus came to Nazareth, the town where he had spent his childhood, and on the Sabbath he went to the synagogue. He unrolled the scroll and began to read the word of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord's Spirit has been given to me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor, to declare freedom to prisoners, to give new sight to the blind, set the downtrodden free. When Jesus had finished, he rolled up the scroll and sat down. The synagogue was hushed and still, as everyone there watched him carefully. Looking up, Jesus said to them, these words you have heard today are coming true even as I speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So where was Jesus today in our Gospel? That's right, he was in Galilee. More specifically, he was in the synagogue. And what did he do in the synagogue, can you remember? That's right, he read from the scroll. Now we go to church and we listen to readings in church too, but our readings are in a book. In Jesus' day, the readings would have been written on a big scroll that would have been rolled up on a wooden pole. And this would have then been kept in what was called the ark, which was like a cupboard or an alcove covered by a screen. So it would have been rolled out each time someone read from it and a marker kept somewhere on it so people knew where to carry on from. And today, Jesus read a very important part of the scripture. He read from the book of Isaiah. And Isaiah was writing about the Messiah, the Christ that was to come. And who was that Christ? That's right, it was Jesus. So Jesus being there that day was fulfilling all that Isaiah had written about the Messiah, the Christ coming. Jesus was living those words of scripture. He has come, he did come to share the good news with everybody, to heal people, to look after people, to free people. So him being there that day was living out that scripture. And who has to do that today? Who has to live the way Jesus taught us and do what Jesus wants us to do, as we heard last week too? That's right, we do. We have to spread that good news of Jesus and we have to help those around us and heal them in ways that we can. 
So today, to help us to remember to spread that good news, we're going to make a card to give to somebody to tell them a little bit of good news about Jesus. So all you're going to need to make your card today is a piece of paper or a piece of card and some felt tip pens. So to make our card, we're going to get our piece of paper or piece of card and fold it in half. And then on the front, you can put whatever you like. Now, when I think of good news, I think it's something cheery and something happy. So I'm going to put some flowers on the front of mine because that makes me happy and cheerful. So I'm sure it would make others cheerful too and happy. So when we're sharing good news, we want people to be happy. So I'm going to draw a few quick flowers on the front of my card. to remember that when Jesus was sharing good news, he wasn't alone. He was filled with the Holy Spirit who guided him and was always with him. And who is always with us too. So when we share the good news of Jesus, we aren't alone either. flowers aren't the best flowers because I'm just rushing to show you but yours will be so much better and then so people know what's inside I'm going to write on the front good news And on the inside of our cards, I've chosen a little bit of scripture that I really like and that I, fills me with good news and helps me to remember that I'm not alone. Because Jesus promised that he's always with us. So as you can see, I found scripture that says he's always with us. So I'm going to write that in my card. You can find your own piece of scripture, or you can use this one. I am with you always. good news to me because I like to know I'm not alone. Sometimes when things get a little bit tough, I know that Jesus is always with me, guiding me. And I feel that that is good news. But you can use that or you can use something else. So once you've made your card, you can have a think about who you're going to give it to. Who are you going to share the good news of Jesus with this week? Let's end with our prayer. Loving Father, watch over us as we share the good news of your son Jesus with others. Fill us with your love so that we may share it with everyone we meet. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As always, don't forget to send us pictures of what you make because we love to see them and we love to share them with others. You can tag us in pictures on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter or you can send them to the Shrewsbury Youth Team email. It's been great to be with you again this week and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!